cooperation. It's a word that gets used in strategy meetings of big businesses by mothers desperately trying to calm a battle between siblings and as the hallmark of the dreaded group project. But did you realize that animals ranging from ants and bees to dolphins and elephants exhibit this behavior every day? And in some cases, it demonstrates a higher level of intelligence? In this episode of Obehave, we're going to talk about a kind of cooperation that requires the animal to think about itself, its partner, and the task at hand. To do this, we'll discuss a recently published paper about bottlenose dolphins conducted by Dr. Stan Kuchai and his colleagues. I'm Stan Kuchai. I'm the director of the Marine Mammal Behavior and Cognition Lab at the University of Southern Mississippi. And I've been studying dolphin behavior, communication, and cognition for, well, I guess 25 to 30 years now. Asking animals what they think directly is of course impossible, and so scientists are left with the difficult task of trying to develop behavioral experiments that attempt to get inside the animal's mind in other ways. Published in the journal Animal Cognition, Dr. Kuchai and his team presented six dolphins in a fenced-in open water lagoon with a special floating apparatus, which was kind of like a puzzle. Made of ropes, PVC, and GoPro cameras, this tube-like apparatus contained a dish best served cold fish, gelatin, and ice. The only way to open this structure was to have one dolphin pulling on each end at the same time. Out of the six dolphins tested, it was the two dominant males that figured out they needed to cooperate in order to succeed. You can see that they're much more interested in the apparatus than they are in the treats. And this is one thing that we notice about dolphins. Um, they're, they're very curious about their world. And so here's this, this object, which they're treating as a toy. and. You can see that the, they're much more interested in manipulating the object than they are in eating the trees that came out. But dolphins aren't the only animals that scientists have shown to cooperate in such a way. A study by Dr. Joshua Plotnick and his colleagues connected with Asian elephants here in Thailand was similar in that two animals had to work together by pulling ropes in synchrony. So if one elephant pulls without the other, the rope unthreads and they don't get access to the reward. This apparatus, first designed by Dr. Satoshi Hirata's team in Japan with chimpanzees, is a great example of how we can test complex intelligence in animals using relatively simple tools. The elephants in this task learned that they couldn't get the food by themselves, and thus they needed their partner and their partner's participation in order to gain access to the food reward. So how does complex intelligence even evolve in two species as different as the dolphin and the elephant? Scientists start by looking to see if maybe they inherited this trait from a common ancestor. For example, the common ancestor of the human and the chimpanzee may have had intelligent abilities like self-awareness and complex tool use. Dolphins and elephants are both mammals, but they're very distantly related. Their common ancestor existed over 100 million years ago, meaning it's likely the species was not yet developed enough to exhibit complex cooperation. Over evolutionary time, these species have evolved and adapted to live in completely different ecosystems elephants on land, and dolphins at sea. This is when scientists begin to wonder if maybe this trait actually evolved separately in both species, rather than via common ancestor. This is what we call convergent cognitive evolution. The similarities between dolphins and elephants is the that they're both social animals. Individuals in the group can benefit from cooperating with one another, and they can benefit in different ways. So I think that's why we find this convergent evolution, is elephants, dolphins, chimps, humans, um, some birds have been shown to be very cooperative or have, have shown they can be cooperative. I think it's because that facilitates individual survival and, and helps the species survive. Although our main gig is discussing research, the theme behind Obehave is to get our viewers to think critically about animals and their behavior and how that may affect conservation efforts in the wild. We know now they're very curious about their world. And that's one of the things I think is, is very striking about them and one of the things that people find intriguing. Um, so one of the, the conservation implications is that the more trash we put in the water, the more likely that dolphins are going to interact with it. One of the things that humans can do is to try and avoid the amount of trash that we, that we dump into our world. Because it, it, a lot of it ends up in the ocean and directly affects dolphins and lots of other marine life. Cooperation is not uncommon in the animal kingdom, but it's the ability for an animal to think about cooperation that makes research into the animal's social mind so interesting and exciting. 
<laughs> so for you YouTubers and animal lovers out there, stay tuned next time for another episode. And in the meantime, don't forget to behave yourselves. The Think Elephants team wants to extend a huge thank you to Dr. Stan Kuchai, Kelly Winship, Holly Eskalinen, and Dolphins Plus, as well as the Marine Mammal Behavior and Cognition Lab at the University of Southern Mississippi. Thank you.